It's spider fit kids time. It's Wednesday. You know what Wednesday means. What's going on spider fit kids? Let me know if you're there because you know what time it is. It's time to get up and move. It's time to move our body. It's time to have some fun because it's Wednesday. Now you'll notice I'm here by myself because spider fit kid Maddie is at camp. Anybody here go to camp this summer? Hopefully you're able to get out and have some fun and go to camp or do some sports or do some different things. But let me know if you're there. I'm excited you're there. Today I have all kinds of fun games and challenges. It's gonna get you moving and we call it PE in your living room, but it doesn't have to be in your living room. We can take your phone or your iPad or your computer outside and have some fun outside or even in the garage or don't go on your roof though. That might be a problem. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do a little Simon Says and let's see if I can trick you. And last week, I didn't do a very good job, but I've been practicing Brooklyn and Tanner. It's been a long time, Tanner. And Russell, you're here. Russell, I'm so happy to see you. I'm happy to see you, Brooklyn, Tanner, Russell, and everybody else, but I am gonna trick you here, all right? So we're gonna do a little Simon Says. Simon Says, reach up in the sky. Simon Says, touch the ground. Simon Says, stand back up. Simon Says, twist side to side. Let's go stand on one leg. <laughs> Did I get, I think I got some people there. Simon says, stand on the other leg. Simon says, do three jumping jacks. Simon says, do three squats. Now three jumping jacks. Did I get you? Did I get you? All right, Simon says, pretend like you're skating on the ice. Simon says, pretend like you're skating on the ice. Simon says, do it faster. Now do it slower. Oh, I think I might've got some people there. Simon says, stand on your left foot. Which one's your left foot? You hold up your finger, oh yeah, this is my left. Now Simon says touch the ground and stand up without your other foot touching the ground. Let's see if you can do it. Touch the ground and stand up. Good job, let's go to the other leg. Simon says, let's go to the other leg. <laughs> I almost got you again, balance. Simon says balance, now Simon says touch the ground and then stand up and reach above your head. So touch the ground, don't worry about the other foot. That's it, and reach up above your head. Good job, now I'm gonna give you three words. I'm gonna give you three words. The first word is jump. Let's see everybody jump around your living room. Jump around your living room. That's it, big jumps. Now I want you to slide. What does slide mean to you? Now if you play baseball or softball, that might mean that you slide on the ground. To me, this is a slide, this is a slide, it's like a dance move, okay? Somebody slide around your living room. What does slide mean to you? That's it, that's my slide right there, just like that. That's my slide, good. And then duck, I wanna see you duck. Let's see you duck. If I say duck, let's see you duck, whatever that means to you. Hello, Harper from Texas, hello. Now I want you to go and duck. So everybody, let's go and duck. Now jump, jump around your living room. Jump, slide. Now duck, let's see you jump. Slide, now duck, jump. Slide, duck, jump. Slide, duck, jump. Slide, and duck, good job. Now, let's see what it means to fly. Well, if I say fly, what does fly mean to you? This is fly to me, I'm flying around the living room. What does fly mean to you? I'm flying, that's it, what does fly? Good. Now if I say reverse, reverse kind of means backwards. What would reverse mean? So for me, reverse would mean going backwards. Reverse would be doing the opposite of what it just did. So that would be reverse. All right, and then spin. What does spin mean to you? Let's see you spin. So let's see you spin across your living room. Spin around your living room. Don't get too dizzy. All right, so let's see you fly. And now reverse, and spin, and fly. And reverse, and spin, and fly. And reverse, and spin. Good job. Now, escape. If I told you to escape, what would that look like? So ready, escape. And escape. Escape. Okay, now escape, now I want you to jump. We're just gonna jump. So again, jump around your living room. Jump around your living room, good. And jump, now balance. Let's see you balance. This is balance for me. That's balance for me. 
That's it, good. Now escape, jump, and balance. Escape, jump, and balance. Escape, jump, and balance. Good job. Now let's see you skip around your living room. Who knows how to skip? Let's see you skip around your living room. So skip around your living room. Let's see who can skip. Remember, bring your legs up high when you skip. Skip around the living room. Now I want you to skip with your legs wide. Can you skip with your legs wide? How wide can you make your legs? Now can you make your legs narrow? Can you skip with your legs narrow around your living room? Now skip fast. Skip fast. There you go. Good. Who can skip slow? Who can skip slow? Let's see how slow you can skip. Oh, that's a slow skip. That's a slow skip. Nice. All right, now we're going to jump again. Let's see you jump. And can you jump fast? Who can jump fast? Can you jump faster and faster? You now can you jump in a circle? Can you jump in a circle? Good job, jump in a circle. Let's see you jump in a circle. Now can you jump with your hips down low? Jump with your hips low, that feels kind of funny. Jump with your hips low. Now can you jump with your arms above your head? Can you jump with your arms above your head? That's kind of hard. So with your arms up, can you jump with your arms above your head? Nice job. All right, now we're gonna come down to the ground and we're gonna do some of the best push-ups that you've ever done. So first, let's see your push-ups. I'm gonna come down. Let's do three push-ups. Let's just do three push-ups. One, two, three. Now let's do three push-ups with our hips way up in the air. One, two, three. That felt kind of weird. Now let's do push-ups with our hips close to the ground. One, two, three. Now that didn't feel right. Now let's bring our hips right even with the ground, just like this. So my hips are even with the ground. And now let's do three push-ups. One, two, three. That felt a lot better. Now who can shuffle? I wanna see you shuffle like you're playing basketball. We're gonna shuffle around your living room or you're outside, or wherever you're at, we're gonna shuffle, so let's see you shuffle. So together, step together, step together, step together. Let's see you shuffle. Now I want you to shuffle with up as high as you can. So be as tall as you can and shuffle. Can you be as tall as you can and shuffle? Now, how small can you be? How small can you be and shuffle? I'm gonna be way down here. Oh, that's kind of hard to shuffle when I'm really small. That's kind of hard to shuffle when I'm really small. That's it, good. Nice, can you shuffle now with loud feet? Can you shuffle with loud feet so loud that it hurts your ears? Can you shuffle so loud that it hurts your ears? Ugh. Shuffle really loud. Now, really soft so no one can hear you. Can you shuffle really soft so no one can hear you. Shuffling really soft, really soft. All right, good job. So today, we've been working on some different superpowers. We've been working on the superpowers of how to get faster running. Today, we're gonna work on that superpower of jumping higher. Who wants to jump higher? Because if you jump higher, you can run faster. So if you wanna jump higher, I'm gonna give you some superpowers. And we practiced this before, Spider Fit Kids. But remember, when we jump, use your arms because your arms help you jump really high. So let's go ahead and start. I'm gonna show you how we do that. So when I say one, you're gonna reach up above your head. When I say two, you're gonna bring your arms down. When I say three, you're gonna throw your arms up and then land. And that's gonna be four, okay? So let's give it a try. One, reach up. Two, three, four. Good job, let's try it again. Ready, reach up. One, two, three, four. Did you land in four? Do you look like this? Good job, let's try it again. One, two, three, four. Good job. Now this time, 
this time, Spider Fit Kids, we're gonna use these new, oh, Praju is here, and Praju drank a lot of water. Good job. Is Praju the water king or water queen? Is Praju the water queen? I hope so. So we're gonna jump one more time. So let's reach up, come down to three, and land. I lied, we're gonna go one more time, but this time, you're gonna jump so high, I want you to hit your head on the roof. Here we go. So reach up, that's one, two, three, land. Let's do one more. One, two, three, land. Good job. So the next time you go to jump, remember that secret. Remember our secret. Tell your teammates, but don't tell the other team. When we put our arms up, throw them down, and then throw them back up again and land, that's how we learn to jump really high. Now that we've warmed up, now that we've jumped so high, who wants to play a game? We're gonna play one of my favorite games. So what I want you to do is I want you to stand in your living room or wherever you're at, and I want you to find something that's kind of far away. So if I'm looking, I'm gonna look at my couch. Now, we've played this before, but this time, we're gonna jump sideways. Now, I want you to look around the room, find something kind of far away that you're gonna jump to, because I want you to jump to that thing in exactly six jumps. Not 10 jumps, not, and all your jumps have to be the same distance. So I can't go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then realize, oh, I have to go all the way to the couch, and then do a big jump. All my jumps have to be the same. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. Six jumps to get to that spot in your living room. Sideways, here we go, ready? Six, and go. One, two, Three, four, five. Oh, I did mine too big. I did mine too big. I got there in five, but let's turn to the other direction and see if we can get there in exactly six jumps. So wherever you're going, let's see if we can get there in six jumps, going sideways, facing the other direction. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Well, that time I was a little bit short. How did you do? Did you get all the way to where you're gonna go? Good job. Now this time, we're gonna jump forward. We're gonna jump forward, so find something else in your living room. I'm gonna choose that blue ball back there. But we gotta get there in 12 jumps. That means we're gonna do itsy bitsy little jumps, jumping there forward, okay? We're gonna jump there forward. You got 12 jumps. Get there in exactly 12 jumps. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, 10, 11, 12. I did it that time, exactly 12 jumps. Let's try it one more time. If you didn't get it that time, we're gonna get it this time. So exactly 12 jumps. Here we go, find that thing in your living room. Starting right here, we're gonna jump forward exactly 12. So count as you jump. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, ah, oh, I got there in 11, I messed up that time. But when we learn how to do this and we can get there in exactly that amount of jumps, we're really, really good. And I see the, the guidance and outreach, absolutely, you can share, please do. Okay, now next up, we're gonna play a little math race. So turn around so you can't see me. Turn around so you can't see me. So turn and face the other way, no peeking, no peeking, and here's what you're gonna do. Well, you can look at me right now. You're gonna jump side to side as fast as you can, as fast as your feet can come off the ground. When I say turn, ha <laughs> ha, I'm gonna be holding up a number of fingers and they're gonna be moving around just like this. I want you to call out how many fingers you see. So how many fingers do you see right now? If you said four, you were right. All right, so turn around so you can't see me. Don't look. Okay, good. Turn around so you can't see me and start jumping side to side as fast as you can go. Here we go. Ready? Go. Faster, 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 faster. Good. Faster jumps, faster jumps, faster jumps. And turn. How many fingers? How many fingers? In five, four, three, two, and stop. That was five fingers. That was five fingers. All right, turn around. Turn around again. I want to see who's good at math and good at counting. Now, let's start jumping side to side. Ready and go. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, jump, jump. Jump, keep jumping faster, faster. And turn. How many fingers? How many fingers? How many fingers do you see in three, 
to how many? If you said eight, you were right. All right, let's turn around again. Face the other way. Good. The last one. This is the champion round. This is the champion round. I want to see if you can do it. Okay. Ready? And start jumping side to side fast. Good. Oh, faster than that. Faster than that. I want you to think like the ground's hot going side to side. Keep going faster. 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 And turn. How many fingers do you see? How many fingers do you see? How many is that? How many is that? And three, two, how many? If you said six, you were right. If you said six, you were right. Very good, very good job today. So now, as we finish up today, I want you to watch. We're going to practice breathing because remember, breathing is how we get air into our body because all of our cells and our muscles and our blood and our brain and our heart and our lungs, they need oxygen. So when we go through, when we breathe, we give it oxygen, we give our body oxygen. So if I'm out running and playing soccer, if I'm playing softball, or if I'm playing hockey, if I'm doing kung fu, or if I'm doing martial arts, or if I'm doing gymnastics, or if I'm doing ice skating, my body needs oxygen. So I have to remember to be a powerful breather. So when we breathe, I want you to put your hands on your tummy. Everybody put your hands on your tummy. And when you breathe, I'm gonna make a belly with my tummy. Just like that. But I want you to watch my hands. And your hands are gonna stay in your tummy. But when my hands get further apart, you're gonna breathe bigger and bigger breaths. As my hands come together, you're gonna to blow out. So you're gonna breathe in when my hands come together, out, or when my hands come apart, you're gonna breathe in. When my hands come together, you're gonna to breathe out. Okay, so hands in your tummy. Here we go, ready? Breathe in and out. Good. That was an easy one. Now in and out. That was really easy. Now in, 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 and out, out. Ooh, don't blow it all out yet. And out. Good. And in, breathe in, and out. Good. In, and out. Good. In, out. In, out, in, out, in, out, and in, and out. Good job. So don't forget, if you want to be good at, at playing in the jungle gym, if you want to be good at, if you want to race your brother or your sister or your mom or your dad, make sure to remember to take big breaths because as little athletes, we really need to get oxygen in. So great job today, Spider Fit Kids. I will see you next week. Now this week, this last week, we drank a lot of water. And when you drink a lot of water, you take good stuff into your body and you help move bad stuff out of your body when you go to the bathroom. Did you know that? When you go to the bathroom, you move the bad stuff out of your body. Well, in order to go to the bathroom, we have to put a lot of water into our body. So this week, this week what I want you to do is I want you to remember to take big, deep breaths. So if you feel mad, or if you feel sad, or if your brother or sister says something mean, or if you're just kind of having a rough day, what I want you to do is I want you to take five really big breaths and then smile. You know, sometimes it's hard to smile when we don't feel like smiling, but it makes us feel better. So when you're not feeling good, take five deep breaths and then smile. So I'm going to see you next week and I'm going to find out if you did it. So great job, Spider Fit Kids. I'll see you next Wednesday. Be good. Take deep breaths. Remember to smile. And by the way, keep drinking water. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.